Can you identify the different breed of cattle? Hey Stormers, it's Michelle again from Storm Family Farm and look who I have here today. It's Evan Storm and Emily and they're here visiting Storm Family Farm. So what are we going to do today? We're going to find out the names of all of these cows. All right. <gasps> then we're going to go outside in the pasture and find each one of them. Well, most of them. Oh, that'll be fun. <laughs> fun horn. The Texas Longhorn. Actually, they came from Spain, then to Mexico, then they were brought to Texas. They're very hardy cattle. They're tough. They can live on just brush, and they can go for days without water. Did you know it was Christopher Columbus that originally brought the Longhorn over here? Herefords are originally from England. They're very docile, and they can tolerate hot and cold weather really well. And they can have calves up to 15 years. Angus. Angus are originally from Scotland. You see a lot of Angus beef in grocery stores and restaurants. That's because it just tastes better and it's more tender due to its marbling. That's the fat that's spread evenly through the cut of meat. Mr. Furry's also an Angus. I hope he doesn't end up in a restaurant one day. Sarah Ray. Charlets are from France, and they are known for their delicious, juicy, tender meat. They also can tolerate really hot and cold weather. And they've been around since 878 A.D. That's really old. Holstein. Holsteins are from Holland and they produce a lot of milk. The average Holstein cow can produce up to 23,000 pounds of milk a year. That's about nine gallons of milk a day. It's a lot of milk. She started chasing me. Oh man, that was close. <laughs> 